Hello friends. In this video we will learn an interesting topic of geography, realms of the earth. The earth's surface consists of both land and water. A blanket of air surrounds the earth. It is inhabited by living organisms such as plants and animals. All these elements land, water, air, living organisms, make up the different constituents or the realms of the earth. The four realms of the earth are Lithosphere. It is the solid portion of the earth. Hydrosphere. All water bodies on earth forms hydrosphere. Atmosphere. It is the blanket of air around us. Biosphere. It is that realms of the earth, where life exists. The outermost solid layer of the earth is called the lithosphere. It is made up of rocks and layers of soil. It is known as the crust of the earth. About 71% of the total area of the lithosphere is covered with water. The remaining 29% is occupied by land. The large part of land is called as continents, while the vast bodies of water surrounding continents are called oceans. Although the ocean waters are part of hydrosphere, the ocean basins are a part of the lithosphere. All oceans are connected with each other. Thus the level of sea water remains same throughout the world. This level of sea water is known as sea level. When we say that Mount Everest which is the highest point on the lithosphere, is 8848 meter high, we mean that this height is above the sea level.
There are seven continents in the world. In order of size, Asia, Africa, North America, South America, Antarctica, Europe and Australia. Asia is the largest continent of the world. It lies between 10 degrees south to 80 degrees north latitudes and 25 degrees east to 170 degrees west longitudes approximately. Asia, together with Europe, forms a continuous landmass that is known as Eurasia. It is separated from the continent of Europe by the Ural Mountains, the Caspian Sea and the Black Sea. Asia is surrounded by the oceans on its three sides, Arctic Ocean in the north, Pacific Ocean in the east and Indian Ocean in the south. Africa is the second largest continent of the world. It lies between 37 degrees north and 35 degrees south latitudes and 17 degrees west and 50 degrees east longitudes approximately. Three important parallels of latitude, the Tropic of Cancer, the Equator, and the Tropic of Capricorn, pass through Africa. The Prime Meridian too passes through this continent. Africa is bounded by three water bodies. The Mediterranean Sea in the north, Indian Ocean in the east and Atlantic Ocean in the west. In the northeast corner of Africa, Suez Canal separates Africa from Asia. North America is the third largest continent lies between 7 degrees north to 84 degrees north latitudes and 20 degrees west to 180 degrees west longitudes. In the south it was earlier joined to South America by the narrow isthmus of Panama. Now, however, the Panama Canal separates the two continents. North America is bound by the Arctic Ocean in the north, the Atlantic Ocean in the east, and the Pacific Ocean in the west. South America is the fourth largest continent of the world. It lies between 12 degrees north to 55 degrees south latitudes and 35 degrees west to 81 degrees west longitudes. South America is surrounded by oceans on almost all sides. Caribbean Sea in the north, Atlantic Ocean in east and, Pacific Ocean in the west. Europe is the sixth largest continent of the world. It is joined to the continent of Asia in the east. Europe is lies between 35 degrees north and 73 degrees north latitudes and 25 degrees west and 65 degrees east longitudes. It is bound in the north by the Arctic Ocean and in the west by the Atlantic Ocean. Its southern shores are washed by the Mediterranean Sea. Australia is the smallest continent. It lies between 10 degrees south and 40 degrees south latitudes and 114 degrees east and 154 degrees east longitudes approximately. Australia is surrounded on all sides by seas and oceans. It is thus, commonly known as the island continent. Antarctica is the fifth largest continent of the world. It lies in the extreme end of the southern hemisphere, with the South Pole almost at the center of it. Antarctica is permanently covered with thick ice and thus, called the frozen continent or the white continent. Many countries have set up research stations in Antarctica. India has three research stations there, the Kshingan Gotri. Metri. and Bharti. Thanks for watching. Visit our channel now for your better understanding. Please do like, share and subscribe our channel.